Hello and welcome. We've been working with uh, the date command in the Linux shell, which is a very useful command. We looked at simple formatting of outputs, also how you can put dates in and get information on those dates from the date command. But you can also ask it general things, um, like kind of like you're talking to it. Because uh, let's say, we know if we type in date, it gives us today's date and time. Uh, and if we say date dash D, and we can give it a date like... Uh, one, three, two thousand, actually let's do 1999, and it will give us the date and time for that. But you can also say things to it like this. What is tomorrow's date? That's tomorrow's date. And it's actually tomorrow, it gave you the time, so it gave you exactly 24 hours in the future. Uh, what if I want to know yesterday's date? I can type in yesterday, and yesterday is invalid. Um, of course, it also helps, as always, if you type the commands properly. Not yesterday, it's yesterday. There we go, yesterday's date. And of course, you can give it different formats, so I can do um, uh, percent capital F to get the date like that. Or if I want to know yesterday was Monday, in case I forgot yesterday was Monday. But again, when you're coding, that could be useful. You know, uh, you can have a check like for tomorrow. plus F, or plus A, um, Wednesday. So you can have a script run daily, or whenever you run it, and it can, instead of going, oh, today is Tuesday, if Tuesday, then this, if Monday, then that, if you're trying to have something happen the day before Wednesday, like you want, well, that doesn't make so much sense, because obviously it would always be Tuesday. But uh, if for some reason you needed to know whether tomorrow was Wednesday or not, you could check it this way. Um, it all depends on your situation. But you can also ask for things like, uh, what is the date next uh, dash Sunday? So next Sunday is the 21st, and it, obviously it's a Sunday. And I believe you should be able to do last Sunday, which is great, uh, trying to figure out you know dates. And this is great, especially if you make a counter program. Think about everyone with smartphones. You can say, you know, hey, whatever your phone is, or whoever your little device on your counter is, you know, add to calendar for next Tuesday, go to so-and-so's house for dinner. And, uh, and it would add it. Well, this is how you would do it with a script. You would take that text, and you would see that they said next Sunday, and now you have the date, and you can add it to your calendar, which you would probably add uh, as an epoch stamp. Uh, at least that's how I would do it, at least in one column or um, field of my database. Um, but yeah, you can do tomorrow, you can do next day. Uh, some other examples, let me think. Another option would be date, and then you can say something like, uh, let's do dash D here, um, 10 days. Do I have to put the plus sign? No, it tells me that's the date 10 days from now. Oops, that I meant to press a 1, or a, a 11, there we go, uh, or you can say minus 11 days, or minus 5 days, so again, if you're doing something that does notifications, and you set a date, okay, um, October 5th, I want some a notification come, but I also want notifications uh, the day before that, I can just say October 5th, like so, and of course, I've typed it wrong. Let's try that again. Let's just do 10, 5, minus 1. There we go. So, October 5th, minus 1. So you can do, oh, I want a notification. So that's the date an event's happening. And I want a notification two days before that. Or, oops, three days before that. Uh, and I, you should be able to. I haven't tried this. Let's say... Uh, October 5th is when the event's happening, and it's happening at uh, 2 p.m., and I'm going to say I want notification one hours before that. I wonder if hour works, too. Yeah, so you can see the, the time that you can get it, and you can do plus percent s the time that you can get it. That was a good explanation, Chris. <laughs> Epoch time again, so you can now calculate when your notifications going to happen, and you can write a script that does multiple of these. So you just have the date that an event's happening, but you can figure out an hour before, 30 minutes before, you know, whatever, by putting whatever 
minus that, or whatever plus that if you want times or dates after. Um, so you can have a notification happen at a certain time, and then if that didn't happen, if you, if you didn't clear it out, you know, an hour later or 30 minutes later, get more notifications until you clear it out. You can do that very simply, and I'm just amazed how smart the date command is at figuring these out. Um, it's just, it's almost like you're just talking to it like you would your phone, which is probably using some uh, variation of this, I wouldn't be surprised. Anyway, that is the date command and figuring out whether, you know, when a time is in addition to the time you've given. You know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so many days, so many hours, so many minutes uh, before or after a given date. So that's it. Uh, I do thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description. Also, thinking about supporting me. Also, a link in the description to my Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash metalx1000. If, if you go to my website, you can search through all my videos or go to the support section there. You can support me through PayPal or Patreon. I do thank you for watching. As always, I hope that you have a great day.